What's going on, Golf Clan viewers? We are out here at the Robert Trent Jones Ross Bridge course in Hoover, Alabama. It's breathtaking, it's absolutely stunning. I was fortunate to get here before the sun came up and just walk around the property a little bit, take in the views. I didn't plan on getting here at 5.30 a.m., but I couldn't sleep last night. I was too excited. I was planning on leaving Atlanta around 5 a.m. I woke up at 2.30. Like, that's how excited I was. I tried to go back to bed. I couldn't. So I was like, you know what? I might as well drive over to Alabama right now, get there when it's still dark, and just be there as the sun rises. And I feel like if I drove back three hours to Atlanta right now, before even hitting a single golf shot, it would already be worth it. This place is pristine. I mean, nothing is out of place. It just looks so incredible. The natural beauty of this golf course is stunning. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. What is the golf plan all about? Well, we put out content trying to build and foster a supportive, collaborative community of golfers all across the world. They're trying to get better and they're trying to have a lot of fun. That's our mission, that's our purpose. I'm an amateur golfer, I'm not a PGA professional, but I love trying to get better. I love coming up with fun games to go out and compete with myself and other people. And I love showcasing the beautiful game of golf. Collaborations, I think, are just so good and so beneficial. And I'm looking forward to meeting more people out there. Every once in a while, we will do a course vlog and this is a special day, this is a special site. So you better believe that we are going to record some holes. What's going on everyone? So excited to bring you a course vlog today from Ross Bridge at the Robert Trent Jones Trail. This is a gorgeous track. It's also a beast playing from the tips at over 8,100 yards. That's crazy, that's crazy long. I typically play around 7,000 yards and even that feels long. At last year and, and before last year, I typically played between 64 and 6,700 yards and then try to make the jump up to 7,000. 8,000 is just a whole different animal, so crazy. But I'm here, I'm here at this course that is the second longest in the country is what I heard. So, I mean, when you're here, you gotta give it a try. Even if my game's not up for it, I think it'll make for a pretty cool experience just to see Robert Trent Jones, see Ross Bridge, and to see the tips playing crazy long today. We are here at the Robert Trent Jones Trail. This is number one, it's a par five. 620 yards from the tips. We're gonna give the black tees a shot because why not? Update on the first tee. Took a breakfast ball and just bombed it in the fairway, so we're in good shape. Also, the people working here are so nice it's almost fake. Ever seen the movie Get Out? Yeah, man, this is, this is weird. People are never this nice. Birmingham, Alabama. I don't have my range finder. There's no GPS in the cart. I have no idea how far it is to carry to that ravine. I think I could maybe get there with a three wood or a five wood. But this hole is massive. It could be a 275 yard carry. So I'm gonna play over to the right side of the fairway, play a smart three shot hole. So good, so good, right in the fairway. Hit a great layup shot with a six iron. I now have about 145 to the middle. Pin is front, but it looks like it's elevated. I don't have, like I was saying, I don't have my slope adjusted range finder, unfortunately. So I'm gonna be doing a little bit of guesstimation here. As you can see, the excuses are already coming out just in case my yardage is off here. We're going with a hard gap wedge, playing slope adjusted, maybe 150. Be enough club today. Enough club. And I hit that gap wedge hard. Just hit it flush. Just hit it like a dream. 
absolutely ridiculous start here for the golf clan we go driver six iron and then from about 150 slope adjusted out i just ripped the gapper no no not the gapper sorry the gap wedge and that is me back there coming down the hill with a birdie try let's go Feels great to start off the round with a par, par five, played a three shotter, didn't go over the ravine, smart, paid off. The putt was downhill. I was a little bit scared of just running it by, so wanted to give it a chance, but not get too aggressive. We started off with a par. We are here at hole number two. This is 467 yards, par four, downhill off the tee, and it turns right to left, to dog leg left. As you can see, it turns left. I don't know how far it is to that bunker. It looks really far. So I'm just gonna try to play it out to the right. I've been playing a pretty straight ball flight. I don't think I can turn it over right to left here. I might just try to keep hitting it straight and would love to find a fairway here. As you can see, we're zoomed in. So boom, we are back at the tips. Anytime you play a course that is long, driving is key, let alone this course. 8191 that's 8191 yards from the back tees or the black tees so driving the ball is so important just to give yourself a chance on these holes if you're out of position no chance but the key for me is not to overswing i don't want to feel like i'm trying to hit 300 plus yard drives if i can hit it 285 in the fairway that is more than enough to give me a chance to do okay out here That was one of the most fun drives I've ever hit in my entire life. It felt like the ball was in the air for five seconds. That was insane. The ball literally just was piped. It was high, it was straight. It was right at that stake in the fairway. I don't know if that's the 200 stake, the 150 or whatever, but man, I couldn't be any happier with that swing. Absolutely stoked with that drive. Right by the 150 stake, I told you, for the tee shot, I'm not gonna try to swing out of my socks and try to hit a 300 plus yard drive. Well, I just hit it over 300 yards. Granted, there was a decline, I don't know how much, but it was 467 and now I have 154 left. So that's a 313 drive, um, I don't know, maybe 15 yards downhill. So I'm in great position. I got 154 yards, the pin is back. I'm gonna try to stick it middle of the green, not go for the back of the green. Don't wanna go over here rather be short than over this green. Sort of like how I drew it up. Hit that, not great. I'm on the green, but it's gonna be a long putt. Let's try to get out of here with a par. Views on this course are ridiculous. There's my ball on the front of the green. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Yep, there's my ball. I think I'm looking at the next hole, number three, which will be teeing off all the way back there. Over the ravine. Wow, that looks incredible. Well, I was a little tight about going long and with good reason because it just drops off into the swamp, into the lake. You do not want to be long and this back pin is just asking for it. My apologies, y'all. I've been having a lot of memory space issues. And so right as I was about to hit that putt, I ran out of space and had to go back through some old footage. So I lagged it up to right about there. It was great speed and I had this left for par. Yes! Even par through two holes. Let's go! So a couple things on my mind here, and then I will have to wrap up this video. Number one is, where am I? I was on the last putting green and this butterfly just kind of flew past me and I'm just thinking like, this doesn't feel like real life. It just doesn't. I just keep thinking like, when am I going to wake up? Number two, the people are so nice. On hole number one, the starter was like, what tees are you playing? 
And I was thinking, well, should I tell him I'm trying to play the tips? Is that a bad idea? And then I'm taping myself playing the tips. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna play the tips for the first few holes, see how it goes. And he's like, oh, that's great, that's awesome. You know, what would be really cool is on hole number 13, there's a hole that's 698 yards. So if you wanted to tee up two yards behind the markers, you could play a 700 yard hole. And I was like, that's so nice. Like, this guy's trying to help me get good content. Cart lady just stopped by and she was like, oh, I see you have a tripod out. Like, are you recording yourself? And I'm thinking like, oh, what are they gonna say? Like, you should be playing faster, blah, 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 blah. And she was like, oh, that's like, that's so awesome. Like, do you have a GoPro? Or like, what are you using to tape it? And I'm just like, why are people being so nice? Like, I'm not used to this. Birmingham, Alabama, unbelievable. Sorry for some of the noise around the greens. They have these giant fans by every green just blowing pretty hard. So I'll try to kind of edit out some of that sound, but if it is there, I do apologize for that. And to recap the first two holes, you know, on that second hole there, hit the driver right in the fairway, hit a pitching wedge safely. Also, you know, I was a little bit scared of that pin on the front. Hit a nice, beautiful lag putt. I counted off like 27 paces. I was a long putt, left it pin high, and then just calmly rolled in that five footer for par. So we are at even par on hole number three, playing from the tips. And I'm so glad that you could be here. This hole looks absolutely stunning. This is par four. It looks like a really long par four from the tips here. Thank you so much for checking out this course vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I would love to bring you more course vlog material, especially here at the Robert Trent Jones Trail. So I will have to plan a trip back here. I'm just enjoying every second of this. Thanks for watching.